Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video brought to you by Rob's Mind. Today we are doing an update to the creeper farm and oh yeah. This thing is pretty cool. I've got it right behind me. We have got the update out and we are going to modify our creeper farm to match the 116 update a little bit better. Help it be a little more efficient. So in this video, we are going to do a full tutorial on the build behind me, as well as cover how to modify your my previous two farms uh, into this one right here. A full material list will be able to be found in the video description, and a world download should be able to be put up there as well. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Alright, so now we are going to get started with the build. We're going to start with the double chest, placing it down. I would recommend placing it at least, you know, 50 blocks above the ground, just so that mobs don't spawn underneath you and kind of ruin your rates. But, you know, if you're not worried about it, if you got all your caves lit, then just go for it. Go ahead and place it wherever you want, on the ground or anything. Uh, so right here we got four hoppers leading into that double chest, and now we are just going to surround it with glass. Keep in mind, it could be any block, but I do choose to use glass because I like to be able to see what is all going on in there. Alright, now that we've got that all surrounded, we can go ahead and start adding in our minecarts by putting two temporary blocks right here. These are hopper minecarts, by the way. And then I, I do like to avoid this situation happening where they push each other away. So to avoid that, you just place, break, place, break. And then we'll do the same for the opposite side. All right, cool. Now we can just throw some solid blocks on top of this. And for those of you that were unsure, this is actually a trident killer. Uh, just a little bit modified by the Navy Nexus design. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Uh, so we're going to have one block extending. Then on the opposite side, we'll skip the block that's next to it and go like that. So we'll just kind of have a ring going like this. And then we will form a circle of just regular pistons on these blocks. Now we can go ahead and set up the redstone, and the way that we do that is pretty simple. So where this block goes straight out to the edge, we will place a repeater, and then every repeater is going to have an observer looking at it. And so we'll just go ahead and set that up, repeater pulling the power out of this block, and then observer looking at it to give power to the next one. Alright, so now before we place our last observer, I am going to go ahead and throw a lever and lock it, because if you don't, then this thing will just continuously go. So we'll go ahead and do that, and as you can see, we've got this thing all locked up, nothing's able to move whenever we unlock it. Boom. Pistons start going. Alright, so now we've went ahead and gone through and surrounded all of this in glass. We only did it uh, three blocks up from the top of the observer, so level with the piston. We've only got two extra blocks right here. And that is just so that creepers are able to stand in here. That is literally it. Uh, so next, we are going to go ahead and just pick a side to make this thing non-symmetrical and build a ring of eight blocks like this with a one-block hole in the center. Place a button right there so that creepers will be more tempted to walk into this hole and not care about it. And then we are going to start building our water catchment system. Now the way we're going to do that is this needs to be a 9x9 nine nine platform. Then you're going to want to throw a lip around it. So we'll just put one ring all the way around the 9x9. Nine nine. Alright, good stuff. Now you should have something looking quite like this. All we need to do now is just go ahead and place a water bucket in each of the four corners like so and there we go you can see it all flows to the center and probably before you put the water in you'll want to go ahead and just throw your trident down through the one little circle so that you can go ahead and have this going on and the way you'll know it's working is when this trident is just kind of moving around in a circle like that that is ready that is able to start killing creepers for us so now we are going to go ahead and go to the front and back whatever you choose to be the front and back and make this extended into an eight block platform so one two three four five six seven eight and then we will do the same on the other be sure to not connect it to the very edge we're just going to make the eight by eight right here on both sides all right good stuff now that we've got those two eight by nine platforms in i believe i said eight by eight earlier we're going to go ahead and build a ring all the way around them, like so. 
Now we're good to go ahead and add in our water buckets, and keep in mind if you're new to Minecraft that a water bucket here and a water bucket here makes this block an infinite water source. So now that you know that, and I'm sure everybody knew that, we'll just go ahead and plop in our water like that. And then you're going to actually take this, go one shy from the end on each side, both sides of the catching area. And we're going to extend these out to eight blocks as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we should have something looking quite like this. And now you know what we're about to do. We're going to rim the whole entire thing and we are going to fill in our water. And now, guys, now we can start going ahead and building up all of our platforms. This is the fun part. Water catchment area is totally done now. Let's go ahead. What you are going to want to do is make sure that it is three, that you have a three block space right here. So on the fourth block is where we're going to start our platform. And we're going to just take this out to the center to make it a little bit easier. I believe this is center right here. Yes. And... We will just surround this with blocks to start. I know this is not optimum to do in survival. You'll have to do some kind of scaffolding or something, but, you know, I'm in creative, so I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this. <laughs> so the way I like to do this is put three of my dispensers down, place up two blocks, sticky piston facing down, redstone block here, and then another dispenser there. And from each of the dispensers, we are going to carry out the platform seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. And we're going to do that on all the sides and taper it down into a diamond. And we should have something looking just like this. And that is exactly what we want. Then we will go ahead and surround these dispensers with blocks just like this yes this is necessary <laughs> and now we'll add in some fence posts so one two you're going one block away from the wall and placing it like that and then you are literally placing every other block so you will just go like this all over the entirety of every single platform all right, good stuff. Now we're going to need to take buttons because as as you probably as you probably know, water flows 8 blocks, not 7. So if we have water come out here, bloop, we have a mess. We have a huge huge mess. So the way that we are going to actually contain that mess is by placing buttons just like this. And that is actually going to do a, a number of things. Number 1, it's going to trick the creepers into thinking there's a block right here. And number two, it is also going to allow our water to flow that one extra block and carry the creepers right off the edge of our spawning platforms. All right, cool. So we got buttons on all of the all of the sides. You know, we got one button on each block, even on the uh, tip here. Obviously, you won't be able to place a button here because we've got one occupying the space as well. So pretty cool. Now, whenever our water comes out, it should look something more like this and that is exactly what we want this will help get all of our creepers out you'll have no lingering creepers in this farm and this is also a good time to go in and fill your dispenser with a water bucket as well just be sure not to accidentally trigger it because then you'll have to climb inside of the farm while it's already spawning stuff so yeah pretty fun things but now the next thing that we are going to do is surround this piston right here. And it's actually, you're going to come out eight blocks from the piston on each side and make that diamond shape again. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we will go ahead and make the diamond shape, tapering all the way down like we did on the dispenser lever level. All right, cool. So now that we've got that diamond shape all placed in here, we can go ahead and come back into this layer, you know, bust a block, get back into this layer, do whatever you got to do to get in here. And we are going to do the painstaking process of placing all these trap doors. Oh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, guys. So the my method on it uh, to save you time and trap doors is by placing it up against this wall all the way down. Then you're going to, on the next one, you will skip everyone with a fence post. So, obviously, every corner is going to have the fence post. So, skip, 
skip. There we go. Just like that. All the way down like so. And it'll help us visualize this a little bit better if we go ahead and complete this row here. So now we've got it like that. Next row you'll fill in solid. Row after you will start skipping. So then we skip, skip, and remember the corner ones don't get one. And then we can go ahead, solid row, skip, and then the final one gets a trapdoor here. So pretty cool. Essentially, you're going to have a trapdoor everywhere that your fence posts aren't. All right, cool. So now that we've got all of those trapdoors in, making very sure that we don't miss a spot, don't mix, miss a spot, guys, or else you'll be wondering why you're getting zombies and all sorts of stuff spawning in here. So the next thing that we are going to do is I'll show you how to start up the next layer. It is very similar to how we started the whole farm. You're going to go three dispensers surrounding this piston. Place in two blocks like that. Sticky piston, redstone block, dispenser here. Make sure to leave that air block so our piston has room to extend. And then, yeah, pretty much the exact same thing. You know, you build up your frame, and then you place in your fence posts, put in your roof, and don't forget your buttons or your buckets. Don't forget your buttons or your water buckets in there. And I recommend building at least, at least five spawning layers. I usually do seven, and it works out great for me. Like I say, the, the going rate for this, I usually get about three and a half stacks per hour of gunpowder, which is more than enough for just my needs, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and build up the seven layers of this farm, and then I'm going to show you how to do the roof and how to do the redstone. And now that we've got all of the layers of the farm built up, all the fence posts are put in, all the trap doors, all the buttons, and most importantly at this point, all the water buckets in the dispensers are filled, then we're ready to go ahead and build up the redstone. So what we're going to be building is actually a little Etho hopper clock. A link to his channel will be down in the description, Etho that is. And the way that we're doing that is two hoppers running back and forth into one another, comparators running out of each hopper like that, blocks in front of the comparators with redstone dust on top of them, Regular pistons facing in towards the hoppers, and a redstone block on one of the pistons' faces. We'll go ahead and put 32 items in there. That's the amount that we are going to need for our flushing system. And then we will dig down two blocks right next to this comparator. And we will place an observer right here. We can go ahead and fill those two blocks back in, and then place a piece of redstone on the observer's face, and you should hear all of your dispensers activate right then. And that is all of our water coming out and then being retracted. Now mobs still are not going to be spawning on this because we have yet to put a roof. And guys, the roof is sadly the most uh, consuming part of this in materials and in time, but you gotta do it. Uh, so I've, I keep on reading on the Minecraft wiki that slabs do not block light so unfortunately we probably will be needing to use full blocks and you can either have them coming out off of this layer here or right here i prefer them right up here and i go out by 15 blocks i believe the minimum you need to go out is like eight blocks and then we'll just continue this diamond pattern and go all the way around and now that we have the roof all completed, I know it's quite a lot of blocks, maybe a little bit overkill. You could probably shrink it back a little bit, but, you know, why risk it in my opinion? Uh, then what you need to do is you either need to slab this thing off, carpet the roof, or place torches all over and light it up so that mobs don't spawn on top of your roof. And after that, you are good to go ahead and find your AFK spot. And this redstone block that we've got right here is the best place to stand for the mobs to start spawning. And there you go. You can see that we've got a few creepers spawning in already. And they just drop straight down, go into our trident killer, and everything is all good. 
So now, if you were following this design for the first time, uh, that tutorial is now completed. We don't need anything else. Make sure you hold your looting three sword in order to get more gunpowder. But now, I will show you how to convert my previous two farms that I've had. And my first one is very easy to change, as a matter of fact. All you need to do is go through, remove one outer layer of blocks and the half slabs that were there as well. And then you will literally just go around and place your buttons on the edges of all the blocks, the redstone should be the exact same. The only thing you may need to change, you might have to reduce the amount of items that I had in there the first time. I think I had everybody put like a stack and a half or something, and that is just way, way too much. But yeah, that is all that you have to do in order to change over the first farm. You just repeat that over. And this is how my second creeper farm design looked, and it's, it's a pretty good one, but the unfortunately the waterlogged piston mechanic got changed. And so what we need to do to switch this one up is just go ahead and place our dispensers up against the redstone block on every single layer. Fill them with your water buckets, obviously. And then we will come out here. Uh, I believe I had these fence posts. Like, uh, instead they were hanging from the roof like this. You will need to remove that. Extend everything out by one block all the way around. Then you will need to add in your extra fence posts. Then obviously your buttons going all the way around each of the platforms like this. And that is that is all done right there. Then we just need one small little modification with the redstone up top. And the redstone for that one should be looking something like this right here. Where we have the repeater that powers the block and sends it down to a block above the piston. What we're going to need to do is actually tear, tear, tear that out. Go down a couple of blocks. Place an observer right here facing up. You can fill those back in, and then just run redstone over his face so that he get they they all get a quick pulse, and it uh, activates our dispenser every single time that redstone block switches over. And with that, I hope you did find this video useful, and if you did, please do hit that like button, leave me a comment, and if you don't mind, please do subscribe to the channel. Sure does help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching another Minecraft video. Brought to you by Rob's Mind, and I will see you in the next one.